Welcome to homecampus.com.sg. Let's solve this word problem. A fruiterer makes fruit baskets with apples, oranges and mangoes in the ratio 3 to 5 to 2. Okay, so he's making fruit baskets uh, with apples, oranges and mangoes in the ratio 3 to 5 to 2, which means that each basket has got three sets of apples, five sets of oranges, and two sets of mangoes. Okay, and each set is of the same size. Okay, we'll get to that in a bit, but let's read the rest of the question. So it says that if he packs a total of 90 mangoes with six mangoes in each basket, how many pieces of fruit does he make, does he pack in total? Okay, so let's suppose that this is a fruit basket. Okay, this is one of the fruit baskets that he's making and he's packing apples, oranges and mangoes in the ratio 3 to 5 to 2. So if this is suppose one set, okay, one set of fruit, then this is one set of apples, this is two sets of apples, and this is three sets of apples, right? So he packs three sets of apples, one, two and three. Then he packs two, oh sorry, five sets of oranges, so one, two, three, four, and five. So he packs five sets of oranges, which would mean one, two, three, four, and five, these five. And lastly, he packs two sets of mangoes. So one and two sets of mangoes, say yellow mangoes. So one and two. And this is one basket. Okay, the next what we know is that there are six mangoes in each basket. So this is one basket and these are the mangoes and these are two sets of mangoes and what we know is they are six in number. So these are six pieces. So six pieces of mangoes are in one basket. Okay, so if there are six pieces of mangoes in one basket, then what does that tell you about the number of apples and the number of oranges in each basket. Well, what we see is that there are two sets of mangoes and two sets together make six pieces. So then how much is one set equal to? Well, if two sets are equal to six pieces, then one set is obviously equal to three pieces, right? So one set is equal to three pieces. Then what can you tell about the number of apples and the number of oranges in the basket? Well, each set of apples is also equal to three pieces and each set of oranges is also equal to three pieces. So the total number of apples would then be three sets times three pieces. So that would be three times three and that's equal to nine pieces. So each basket has got nine pieces of apples. And how about the oranges? Well, there are one, two, three, four, and five sets of oranges, and each set has three pieces of oranges. Then the total number of oranges would be three times five, and that's 15 pieces. So each basket has got nine apples, 15 oranges, and six mangoes. So that's one basket. Now, what we have to find out is how many pieces of fruit did he pack in total? And in total, he actually packed 90 mangoes. Well, the apples, oranges, and mangoes are in the ratio 3 to 5 to 2. This is what is given to us, right? Each basket has got three sets of apples, five sets of oranges, and two sets of mangoes. And from this, we found out that each basket has got nine apples, 15 oranges, and six mangoes. So actually, what we did essentially here was multiply everything, that is all the terms, by three, right? Three pieces. These were your three sets of apples, five sets of oranges, and two sets of mangoes, which you multiplied by three. And what you got was one basket, right? One basket that had nine apples, 15 oranges, and six mangoes. Okay, now let's take this ratio one more time. Apples to oranges to mangoes. In each basket, there are nine to 15 to six. Okay, now this is one basket. So one basket has got nine apples, 15 oranges, and six mangoes. But what we know is there are a total of 90 mangoes that the fruiter has packed. Now, if he packed 90 mangoes, what can you tell about 
the total number of baskets that he packed. Well, if each basket has got six mangoes, then how many baskets will it take to pack 90 mangoes? Well, it will take 90 divided by six. That many number of baskets, right? So what is that equal to? 90 divided by six, well, that's equal to 15. So he needs 15 baskets to pack 90 mangoes. That's what we know. So if he's going to pack 15 baskets, then how many apples and oranges is he going to need? Well, he's going to need 9 times 15 apples and he's going to need 15 times 15 oranges, right? Because he's going to pack 15 baskets of fruit. So he's going to need 9 times 15 apples, which is 135 apples. And he's going to need 15 times 15 oranges, which is 225 oranges. And we already know that he packs 90 mangoes. All right, so in all, he's going to need 135 apples plus 225 oranges plus 90 mangoes, these many pieces of fruit. And how much is that equal to? Well, 135 plus 225 plus 90. Well, 5 and 5 is 10. Then 3 plus 1 is 4 plus 2 is 6 plus 9 is 15. 1 plus 1 is 2 plus 2 is 4. So he's going to need a total of 450 pieces of fruit. And that's the answer to our question. So from the ratio that was given to us, apples to oranges to mangoes is 3 sets to 5 sets to 2 sets. What we figured out was that each basket will have 9 apples, 15 oranges and 6 mangoes. And if he packs 90 mangoes, then he's going to need 15 baskets. So we figured out that if he's going to pack 15 baskets of fruit, then he's going to need 135 apples, 225 oranges and 90 mangoes, which in total is equal to 450 pieces of fruit. And that's your answer. But actually, there is another way to find out uh, this uh, figure, 450, without actually having to draw all this or without even having to calculate how many baskets he's going to need. And even without using this six mangoes. Actually, let me show it to you here. So what we know is apples to oranges to mangoes is in the ratio 3 to 5 to 2. So three apples to five oranges to two mangoes. Okay, so from here, what you can see is if there are two mangoes, then there are three apples and five oranges. But what if there are 90 mangoes, then how many apples and oranges will be there? Well, just use the concept of equivalent ratios. So from 2 to 90, how do you go from 2 to 90? Well, you simply multiply it by 45, the number 45, because 2 times 45 is 90. So if you multiply one of the terms of the ratio by the number 45, then you also got to multiply the rest of the terms in the ratio by 45. So you do that. You multiply the remaining two terms also by 45. And what you get is 3 times 45. Well, what is that? I'm doing the working here on the top right corner. 45 times 3. 3 times 5 is 15. 1 carried over. 3 times 4 is 12. Plus 1 is 13. So this is 135. How about the second one? 5 times 45 or 45 times 5. Well, again, I'm doing the working here in the top right corner. 45 times 5. 5 times 5 is 25. Then 4 times 5 is 20 plus 2 is 22. So 225 oranges and the mangoes we know are 90. So you again get the same ratio which is 135 to 225 to 90. So you see here that if there are two mangoes then there are three apples and five oranges but if there are 90 mangoes then there'll be 135 apples and 225 oranges and that's the same ratio as this one over here 135 to 225 to 90 and the sum of these is 450. So you see here you didn't even have to find how many baskets uh, there are going to be or how many pieces of uh, individual fruit there's going to be in one basket and all that stuff. If you use the concept of uh, equivalent ratios you can simply get the answer which is 450 here. And in fact, you could add one more term here, say total, okay? And the total is the total of apples, oranges, and mangoes. So if there are three apples and five oranges and two mangoes here, then the total number of uh, pieces of fruit would be three plus five plus two, which is 10. So again, you do the same here. In the fourth term, you multiply 
the fourth term also by 45 and what you get is you get 450 years so you see here this is another way of finding the answer which is 450. Well, that's it. That's the end of this word problem, which I hope you understood and hope that now you'll go and solve some other word problems as usual at www.homecampus.com.sg. Don't forget to practice because practice makes perfect. Also at this website, you can check out how good you're getting at math and also do check out some of the cool features that we've added. Well, that's all from me for now. This is M signing off. Bye-bye.